In Acts 7, Stephen is standing before the Jewish council. The high priest asks him, are these accusations true? The accusations from chapter 6, where he was accused of blaspheming God. And I think it's interesting that Stephen is going to leverage that question, and he's going to reply with this super long reply that's basically a sermon. He uses this opportunity to share the gospel with all of the people sitting there. He says, Brothers and fathers, listen to me. Our glorious God appeared to our ancestor Abraham in Mesopotamia before he settled in Haran. Now, I'm going to let you read this for yourself. It's kind of a long sermon. I just want you to pay attention to how he is making the link back all the way back to Abraham. He's building a bridge with his hearers because they're all Jewish. And so he's telling them the story of Jesus, but he's starting with Abraham. And you'll notice he he starts talking about Moses, and he talks about the patriarchs, and he talks about the famine and Pharaoh, and he talks about, you know, all these things as he's as he's telling this story to make sure that they understood that he he wasn't dumb. You know, he understood the scriptures and uh and but he recognized that Jesus was the fulfillment of the scriptures. So again, you can see me scrolling here. This is kind of a long message, a long sermon, but I want to scroll here to the bottom where what he says here at the end, and this is where he gets really bold. Remember earlier in Acts, the disciples prayed for boldness, and we see the boldness right here. He says, you stubborn people, you are heathen at heart and deaf to the truth. Must you forever resist the Holy Spirit? That's what your ancestors did, and so do you. And uh, once again, this gets like super bold for Stephen to do this, in their eyes, Stephen was a nobody. And so it says in verse 54, the Jewish leaders were infuriated by Stephen's accusation and they shook their fists at him in rage. And it says they put their hands over their ears and began shouting and they rushed at him and they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And his accusers took off their coats and laid them at the feet of a young man named Saul. Now, I, I just want to end with that right there. Uh, Stephen is the first martyr in the Christian church. There will be many, many, many more martyrs in the history of Christianity, but Stephen is the very first one. And it's just interesting who was there at the stoning of Stephen. His name is Saul. He's a Pharisee. He's up and coming. He's a young, zealous Jewish religious leader. And we're going to come back to Saul in just a couple more chapters when we meet him and when he meets Jesus and gives his heart to Christ. And and Saul, who's Paul, he is going to end up writing many of the books that we're going to be reading in the New Testament. But this is the first time we're exposed to him. And so anyway, you're ready to read Acts chapter 7. It's a long one, but pay attention to Stephen's sermon and how he's trying to tie the Old Testament into the New Testament to tell people about Jesus. So you're ready to read chapter 7. We'll see you tomorrow for chapter 8.